In this example, I have a catchment area that feeds into this drainage system. So it's running through this culvert, into this channel and into a ditch inlet. So we see the situation here in the 3D model. So the flow is coming through the conduit, down the channel and into the ditch inlet. Now what we want to do is know whether the ditch inlet is able to cater for the flow in the channel. So we want to know what the spread width and depth are at that ditch inlet. So if I select the ditch inlet, two things to note. Firstly, it's in sag. So that's important because that helps us control the hydraulic calculations. And then given that the inlet is in sag, we've added an extra gutter type called use upstream channel. Now, this is the upstream channel. Now, it's is a channel, not a conduit. So if we look at a conduit, for example, it's got a shape and it's got a size. A channel doesn't have, it's using the cross section on the head wall to define its shape. So if we compute the scenario, and let's just have a look at the details and the inlet summary. There's our ditch inlet. Notice that we've computed the, uh, the depth in the gutter and the spread width. If we select that inlet again and scroll down through, we can see in the properties there's the depth in the gutter, there's the spread width, and there's the captured flow. Finally, if we go to the Explorer and we open our analysis profile, there's the culvert, there's the channel, and we can see the hydraulic results, the hydraulic grade line and the energy grade line as we feed into the ditch inlet.